what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zoff and today we are back with season two episode two of bridgerton this one is called off to the races last episode obviously the introduction to season two super super good start um i love the focus around anthony and his whole like courting season um because now he's finally committed to finding the, the next lady bridgerton and it looks like he has his eye on someone specifically uh, we thought that person was Kate Sharma, who we met in the last episode as well. Turns out, I think he's actually uh, eyeing her little sister, Edwina, um, who was just declared the diamond of the season. Yeah, yeah, I do think he likes her, but I just want to come out and say um, it's not too important, but uh, we came to realize or we got acknowledged that Simon actually is not going to be in the season at all. Uh, so we're not we did have our hopes up. We definitely thought he was at least going to be in the season But now getting told that information we know that he won't make an appearance And we also heard that Daphne isn't going to be in the uh, next season three at all So I want to say my goodbyes to Simon uh, Goodbye, goodbye you, Simon. You were declared one of the best looking guys in the, the whole world Maybe if not the best looking in our book. Yeah, so I'm gonna miss you. But yeah, I definitely think that Anthony is going to pursue Edwina. Like he, he said, no matter what, whoever's a diamond, he's taking her. And it ended up being Edwina. And she had, just so happens to be like the perfect girl for him based off of like all the qualities he's looking for. Yeah, she checks all the boxes for sure. For mm -hmm. sure. And how, I still think he's gonna yeah. like Kate though. I think Kate probably checks all, all the boxes too. Mm -hmm. Most of them at least. Like they're, they, they're definitely both very knowledgeable yeah. on a lot of different things. But yeah, she, Kate told her at the end, like, you, you, you are not to talk to that man ever again because she, she knows she, how he is. She overheard his combo outside about how he just wants a girl to like breed with or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it was last episode. Uh, the freaking Featheringtons got their cousin guy. He came in. Yeah, the no, next Lord Featherington. Yeah, he came in at the end with all of his stuff. He seems like he could be a little bit of a jerk. Uh, but I think he's going to take uh, initiative and be the man of the house like they needed because he was saying even that their father was a little bit of a, you know, not, not a great guy, say the word, but, but yeah, Penn is still back. She's back to her lady whistle down stuff. And mm -hmm. she pretty much said there at the end, like she took Elle's advice and was like making it, she's making a change now in her writing. And she kind of called out the queen and was like, why do we just like listen to her and like, just because she said someone's a diamond, they're all of a sudden this like hot shot. Like, what makes them so special? We need it. Yeah. We need a new system. And the queen kind of like was seemed like she agreed with that at the end. She's like, it looks like the diamond's gonna need to shine more than normal this season or something like that. So, I think she's gonna put Edwina through the ringer, especially because like we learned that her mom was the diamond and just dipped. So she, she I mean, you can tell last episode she does not favor not, that yeah. family too much. Yeah. She was probably very hesitant of letting them into this uh, season as well as like making her the diamond. But I think Lady Danbury really helped them out with that one. Eloise has kind of like gotten over the whole Lady Whistledown thing. Like it's been 10 months since she almost discovered the identity and like saved Lady Whistledown. Obviously, we know now that that was Penelope, but it seemed like in the first episode that she kind of had outgrown that whole thing that well also it had been 10 months and lady whistledown was missing like she wasn't writing anymore so away for the season eloise was sort of like enjoying that time or where there was no gossip and everything and it feels like she has sort of decided that uh lady whistledown just sort of writes the same stuff every time yeah. and it, none of it really means too much and i don't think pen likes that very yeah, much i feel like... was definitely triggered by that I feel like Penn is, Eloise is sort of Lady Whistledown in her own way because Penn is just taking Eloise's advice and like writing the way how Eloise told her, she, like she wished Whistledown would be writing and like the last message or the last paper she wrote came out and said like how the diamond in the first water is just like irrelevant, just really doesn't mean anything and Eloise read that and loved it. So I think Penn is going to take a lot of ideas from 
maybe you could even say whistle down herself all right guys well that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode if you have been liking all of our bridgerton reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe we are getting super super close to 100,000 subscribers so please hit that sub button it'll help us out a lot we'd really appreciate that check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social medias down there as well as the address to our po box so send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now and with all that being said guys we're gonna get right into the episode bridgerton season two episode two off to the races let's do it lord lumley at the top is he not something of a dandy i would use the term gallant is that what you look for edwina i feel like she's treating edwina like uh anthony treated <laughs> daphne exactly yep. yeah it's exactly the same bridgerton is quite adept at conveying false first impressions he stated rather clearly that he seeks a wife only to fulfill his duty and in fact does not believe in love at all it is only out of the greatest love of my family that i aim to choose a bride with my head and not my lips mm. Mm. Yep, okay. that's what you were gonna say, Anthony. Sure. Miss Charlotte. Oh wow. Edwina's got a lot of suitors. I want to see Burbuk. He's never coming back. So Please. I'm, I'm. Why do you want him? Ah, he's so funny to watch. I say we heed the young lady and wait with the grace our hostess affords us. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Bridgerton. Bridgerton. You need a haircut. It looks shorter. He looks awesome. I wish to escort Miss Edwina to the race field this afternoon. Off to the races. Tomorrow, then. She's engaged tomorrow, too. And the day after? Well, if I think of it, she may be free. Ah. After December. Mm. <laughs> Got a lot of promised dates already. Your dubious and libertine reputation goes before you. No intrusion. Mm. End of the queue. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Come on. You're. He's the Viscount, let's be real. What's that even mean? Not sure, but I know <laughs> it's a good title. It's definitely good to have. <laughs> definitely means something. Could indeed find out with someone else, could she not? I believe she could, and not Lady Whistledown, but someone more like Colin. Oh my gosh! Oh my oh. gosh! He's back, dude, and he has a beard. He looks. Oh good. my goodness, Colin! I didn't think, beard. I didn't think he was gonna be back. I think he's gonna be in the season. I mean, he has been traveling for ten months. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Penelope. He looks good. I believe we must get you to the doctor post haste. This strange fuzzy growth on your chin is no doubt some kind of disease. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Benedict is so funny. I should like you all to ready yourselves for the races today. We will be attending United as One. And I'm bringing a girl. Feathering. it would never do, Mom. But Hunter, we have on our Oh hands. boy, the decorations are gonna be way different. Do you think he likes to hunt like, like uh, the, 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 the wild bo the boar? These are the questions that need answered. The Royal Races. It's another It'll event. An that means, but Mr. Finch. Mr. Finch, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's quite the noise. That's him. How fortunate to have found Who is this? Lord Whoever her escort was to the race. The top guy on the list. Mr. Thomas Dorset, allow me to introduce Miss Sharma and Miss Edwina Sharma. A pleasure. I'm afraid my sister already has an escort. Mm, I bet he's looking at Kate, though. I was hoping to speak with you. Yep. Oh. <laughs> and she sees Mr. Bridgerton. Anthony. Lord Bridgerton. Hello, ma'am. Mr. Goodlooking. Eh, she just wants to make him jelly now, I feel like. Eloise, are you listening to me? What do you have in your hand? Nothing, Mama. It's only a pamphlet on new methods for the dogs. Dogs, apparently. Well, the lady is allowed her hobbies. She's not. Thank you. Why'd she get that? I'm not really sure. Investigating of some sort. Lord Bridgerton. Miss Sharma. Miss Edwina. Mama. Hello. Hello. How delightful to see you, my lord. I am Lord Bridgerton. <laughs> They're all like, ah, oh, this dude's sick. One can tell a great deal about a man from his family, I rather think. <laughs> yes, there are many excellent, affectionate families of the Tom, are there not? Well, not quite as inviting as the British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, he dude. Just gassed them you up. are not helping yourself out here. Excuse me. Lovely was right in between them. Oh. Look at <laughs> <all> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. He's in between the sisters. She's pissed. I love Anthony yeah. so much, bro. You can have me soul. What? You can have me soul. What about your heart? Maybe. Me soul. I had wanted to hear more about your travels. I thought you would have been bored of my travels by now. You read and replied to more of my letters than anyone else. 
Ah. Oh. She's in love with you. I love these two, bro. The paper stock is the same texture as that of puzzle valve. Does not all paper feel the same? Texture, weight, grain, the way the light seeps through when you hold it to the sky. You know, this is this, but not that whistle down right in front of her. Yeah, literally. Whistle down is your best friend. Is that the one that she stopped her? I outside? bet, yeah, yeah. I bet. Which one is your pick, my lord? Nectar. Well bred. Highly trained. Oh my god, they are just hitting it off right I here. love it, I love it. They have considered your horse's temperament as well as the conditions of the track in order to properly assess its true. Oh my goodness, dude. Suddenly feeling rather warm, sister, <laughs> Nectar is a prize. Perhaps thief. we should find into more shape. Anthony and Kate just can't have a normal conversation. The size was an advantage. Today, the track is soft and it is hot. Meaning he will struggle to make headway, overheat and slow down during the final She knows leg. a lot about this. Yeah, she really does. She's just super smart about everything. It seems Miss Edwina desires a love match. Something that Violet. clearly does not. Perhaps her mind can be changed. Perhaps so can the These two out. get stuff done when oh, they yeah. plot together. I love it, dude. They're just the bosses behind the scenes. It's, it's awesome. Look at this race. High fire. high fire. What'd I say? Hi, Swifter. <laughs> this would be cool to go to. <laughs> There's so much. Come on! It. You're so pretty. It's all in good spirit, I think. Yes, I'm having such fun. <laughs> <laughs> are you? It's those two. Oh my god, look how into it they are. Dude, they're a perfect match. Yeah. They look the same energy. Beating you feels the same as any other win, but. Somehow smells sweet. Kate, does Nectar not remind you of the beloved horse I used to adore? Do you remember the one? Oh, was it my own? <laughs> what was that transition? <laughs> Do you remember that horse that I used to have? Oh, take my arm. Look at that thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's third wheeling so hard. The Viscount does not like to lose. He's never stomached it, even back at Oxford. Mm. Oh, he knows. He probably went to college with him. Oh, yeah. He oh. definitely did some dirty stuff at Oxford. My interest in you today was genuine. On genuine in the sense you were sent here to distract me, also Lord Bridgerton could get closer to my sister. Oh, it was all a scheme, bro. Do not speak to me or my sister ever again. <laughs> what has happened? It seems a second game was afoot today, and mm. Lord Bridgerton made certain I play the fool. Let us go. Dang. He did kind Busted, of- Busted, Anthony. That was kind of a, a, a fast one, though. Busted. I wish to spend time with you. <laughs> she loves him, bro. He could say anything. Yeah, she likes him. Tell me what you know of her. Of who? What? We where Lady Whistledown prints her paper. I think you might be lost. I think you're evading my question. You never asked me a question. It's true. This is who he, she's gonna like. Is the shock you seem to be displaying at present due to the fact that I appear well-read and articulate? <laughs> or do you suffer from some medical ailment about which I should be informed? <laughs> <laughs> He's roasting this kid. If I should ever see Lady What's Her Name, I'll be sure to let her know that her leading admirer is Cecilia. <laughs> what a back and forth. Yeah, that was some, some cool banter between them. I hope we see that kid again. Oh, Finch and freaking oh, Philippa. Oh my goodness. Philippa, <laughs> Philippa Finch. <laughs> there is much to see. They are called zebra. zebra. Oh my goodness, are we about to see some zebras? Zebra. What? Oh, I can't think what to name them all. She's got a bunch of zebras, what? dude. That's, That's crazy. The most spectacular menagerie, your majesty. Can you ride zebras, like horses? I doubt it. I feel like they're too small. Aren't they horses? Your marriage, the wondrous love you share with the king, Edwina mm. desires the very same. And she shall receive it, should she know who to trust. Oh, Lady Danbury's telling her to get with Bridgerton. Who do I win every time? Because every time you lose, you claim we cheat. Oh. Oh yeah, Benedict. This Edwina and I are well suited. She's a lovely young lady. But you like Kate. Keep telling yourself that. I don't know. I feel like still right now he likes Edwina. Yeah, I know. But he will like Kate. He just doesn't know it yet. He needs to get Edwina first. A soirée this evening, so that Miss Edwina may get to know her many suitors. Heard a horse. So long as we are judicious with our guest list, pardon me. Who's outside? Is it Anthony? <laughs> yep, it's Anthony. Doesn't want Anthony on the guest list. This is about what you heard on the terrace again. You act as if I'm some kind of villain. No, it's about what your college buddy told her. 
You have been exceptionally clear about what it is you do and do not wish for. But has it ever occurred to you this might in fact be about what your sister wishes for instead? That's a good uh, point. That's a good point. I brought you a small token to remember our fine time at the races yesterday. Oh. How about your horse? Well, I thought you loved animals. I do, but usually the kind that can curl up on my lap. Oh. Gotta That's get a her. miss. That's a miss, Anthony. What do you get her now? A cat. You said something about nectar reminding you of a beloved horse back at you. That horse is a character from a novel, a novel of love. Oh, fact, Anthony. You oh, it was a good effort, though. Uh, oh, we missed this big time. The horse is a generous gesture in you. Anthony's like, I'm going to fucking take it back. I'm going to get you something better. She like, oh, she definitely likes him. The way she oh, yeah. gives him that, that, that look. Yeah, that look. Ah, so what's happening with the horse? I must say, Mr. Mondrich, I'm quite overjoyed to see what a fine establishment you've built by the sweat of your own honest labor. Ooh. Yeah. Wasn't honest, was it? Uh, kind of. Took a fall. Rigged the bet, yeah, a little bit. I was unaware there was a ball this evening. Yes, soiree. Rather, did you oh, not see your invitation this afternoon from the Danbury Football? The soiree is at the Danbury House. And Miss Sharma likes to accuse me of playing games. <laughs> you weren't invited, Anthony. Perhaps Miss Edwina's other suitors plan on choosing their words more wisely tonight. Some are reading poetry, I hear. I think they're trying to get to him. Remember they were, like, scheming together? Mm-hmm. Maybe they're like, oh, we gotta get him all jealous, so then he really, like, tries and makes it a love match. He needs to make more effort. More genuine effort. He's crashing that party. Is he trying to wheel her with that? Oh. Well, that was actually really cool. What are we? What are we watching here? The talent show. Like, what's going on? Lady Danby encouraged a poetry reading. The men, thanks to their spirit and competition, concocted the rest of this farce on their own. Not bad, post. Milan. Yeah. It was supposed to be a poetry reading, but this is what we got. The fact the Viscount is your relation almost makes me think better of him. We should certainly not give him too much credit now, should we? <laughs> She's like, whoa, this girl's really cool, actually. Maybe a potential sister-in-law for me. Yes, Bring Anthony out. He's gonna do something, huh? Come start juggling or something. Beautiful dress. Uh oh, someone's gonna get close to you. Maybe whistle down. I quite like yours as well. You have a sense of humor. No, <laughs> I did not mean. I am being truthful. It is quite beautiful indeed. But I seem to have grown weary of the color. <laughs> Doesn't like yellow. All she give is given is yellow. What will it be for you tonight? A song? A jig? Some hidden hoop rolling talent you've yet to share with the world? Remember when Colin sang? What? Remember when Colin sang, played the piano? Yeah, he was good. And when the catch, and when the catch. Yeah, what was it? You must tell me the name of the young lady who you seem to have met while out of the country. Mm. What can you mean? You mentioned at the races you were never lonely. I only assumed. No, he said he was always amongst others, but he probably was lonely. I did begin a real conversation with someone. Someone I had known for a very long time. Oh, her. Oh. They never truly knew this person at all. Hmm. Myself. Oh. That's deeper. How does he always manage to say the fucking wrong thing? <laughs> That's true. Well, I don't think I don't think he likes her. I know, but he always acts like he's gonna say what we want him to hear, and then he just says something else. I cleared my head, swore off women and love. <laughs> Great. Sworn off women then? Not for the time being. I am a woman. Oh. You are pen. You do not count. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's, that's bad. Friend zone. Next whistle down. Colin Bridgerton is a fucking loser. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. That pen's heart probably just shattered into a million pieces. You're not a woman. You're a pen. What the fuck? So rude. <laughs> that is so mean. I mean, she doesn't know. She I know. It's unintentional, but it's so mean. Miss Cowper. Yes, what an exquisite necklace. Cider. Courtesy of the new Lord Fredrington, I hear. What? You bought her that? The new Lord is so very generous with his gifts. It's hard to keep up with them. 
Uh oh, is new Lord Featherington eyeing up Cressida? I think Lady Calver, right? Or would it be Cressida? Cressida. If you are serious about painting, I hear it is the place to be. Brother, I need you. I'm in the midst of a conversation. Outside, straight away. Oh no. Your Bridgerton duties call, Benedict. I need you to teach me how to read that out loud. A poem. There is a rapture on the left. How does one make that sound good? I'm afraid that is not possible. That poem is the opposite of good. I hate to break it to you also, Anthony, but they're not doing poetry reading tonight. The talent show. <laughs> what is it truly to admire a woman? To look at her and feel inspiration? To delight in her beauty? Oh, he's spitting right now. All your defenses crumble. You gotta write this you down, bro. You could say this. This is poetry. You can remember it. Any burden. Hold up. Anthony's like, how do you do that? What? You should apply yourself more often, Benedict. Mm. Benedict is very talented. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, literally write that down. I'm taking. So soft, so calm. Hello, bud. Eloquent. Prudence. Smiles that win. Someone is reading poetry. <laughs> yeah, it's, Anthony's gonna come in and absolutely juice. So odd to just walk up in front of women and just start reading poetry. Anthony's gonna come in. And be like, wait, wait, wait! I have a poem my brother wrote. Pardon me, Lady Lambert. I was not invited to this party at all, but I am here. So surely you would never deny a young man you've known for nine or twenty years the pleasure of your company. Oh. <laughs> and neither would your footman at the front door. Apologies, Viscount. You appear to be late again. We were just bringing the evening to a Surely Miss Edwina has time for one more. For sure. Oh boy. That my brother wrote. Oh, <laughs> uh, she just really likes him. <laughs> it makes me feel so bad because I feel like he's gonna end up liking Kate, and Edwin is smitten by him. It's gonna be the exact thing. Uh. What is it? <laughs> Truly, to admire a woman. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> to honor. Oh. <laughs> I'm just cringing because I just heard Benedict say this. Oh, speak from the heart. Oh, whoa! Go. He's going Go. off <laughs> off track right here, off script. I can't recommend these words as my own by someone else entirely. <laughs> my brother just told that to me right five minutes ago. <laughs> Not a man of poetry, but he's about to say he's, something. Yeah, awesome. he's just fed. He's just fed. Flattery. Oh. I feel like he. This is a script. Still, I feel like he's still on script. No, he's speaking from the heart. I meant like he planned on doing this, no, crumbling no. it up, and there anything. I may not be able to offer the display of passion that you truly deserve, but I assure you, that when it comes to action and duty, <laughs> I shall never be found. Out. She is in love with this guy. I am too. Is what will speak louder than any pretty words ever can. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Oh god. Bro, Kate's gonna break her sister's <laughs> heart, I think. Kate's Anthony's, gonna fucking break her heart. I think heart. Anthony might be taking me away. Oh, look at her. Oh. Going after him. Can I give you the love you deserve? Is that what you took from that? It is the mark of a true gentleman. Just as Abba used to say. She's switching up, bro. Kate, come on. Let it happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the smile, Anthony. Give me the satisfied smile. Cheeky little smile. Give it to us. Oh, no. Kate is upset. Oh, Kate. that was hard. She's a little flustered. That was so hard. That was a really hard bump. Lady Danbury. I have some knowledge for you. Yep. <laughs> I'm about to give you some coaching. I do not need to hear it from you. In fact, I do not need to hear it from anyone. I do not care what a single person here thinks of me. Oh, come on, Kate. It's not that bad. I will be a governess. I will be content knowing my sister is taken care of. Content. Are you so miserable, my lady? I beg your pardon. Oh, don't challenge Lady Danbury like this. I see you. You are more than content. Because I have lived a life. 
Has yeah. she had a man? Probably, yeah. She's a widow, okay. I have earned the right to do whatever I please, whenever I please, and however I please to do it. Child, you are not me. You're not me. Uh -uh. You most certainly never will be. Oh. Open up your heart, dude. Hey. Uh I gas. love Lady Danbury, dude. She is always just dropping knowledge bombs. That was everybody. straight gas. Not only are these paper stocks identical, but the letter K's, they are slightly misshapen in the exact same way. Surely it's not likely to be another coincidence. If the same mistake is in Little Down's next issue, then we will mm -hmm. know that the print shop is indeed hers. Well, she's fixing that K for the next issue. <laughs> Who are we gonna see? Lady Whistledown. Any letter K for a Stanhill Press? <laughs> I found out that the Irish accent, that's actually her real accent. Oh, for real? The British accent is not real. Nice. She's apparently in a really popular show called Dairy Girls. Oh, I've heard of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Madame de la Croix. De la Croix. Oh. To be fair, one might call this author the biggest secret share Why is that such a shock that she's here? Because I feel like she's not supposed to be in a place like that. Like how when Eloise was in that part of town, the dude was like, yeah. not a place you should be alone. If our theory is correct, then Lady Whistledown will indeed be in this very collection. When even the most well-kept of it's pen there, yep. Must oh my gosh. And Eloise. Come to light. Oh, bro, they're on to them. Dude, I, I'm i so conflicted with the Anthony and the Sharma sister situations. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure that he, like, gets with Kate from, like, the promotional images I've seen for season two. Like, I'm pretty sure that he she's, like, the love interest. But I'm really liking him and Edwina. Like, I, I feel like they are setting it up for it to kind of be heartbreaking for Edwina and that to be, like, the main problem. Because I feel like she definitely is falling for him and catching feelings but like we saw he was with edwina and like still can't stop looking over at kate like he still is super interested in kate and i feel like right now he thinks of it more as like ah like that annoying sister oh my god like I, she's always getting in my way but he's gonna realize like that he likes her i think i don't know i feel like he sees kate more as like an equal and he sees as, as Edwina is like, this is the girl that checks all the boxes on my list of things I need for a wife. I don't know. I uh, If I didn't already know that I'm like, that they're supposed to be together, I definitely would be thinking like, oh, Edwina's perfect. Like, Kate needs to get out of here. I, I want Edwina to be with Anthony, but. Yeah, I, I wish he would just be with Edwina. Like, she just, is, she just seems perfect, honestly. Like, she is a, such a sweetheart. She's gorgeous. She's so sweet. Like, I don't know. But Kate, like, I feel like she's just gonna, like, realize... She's just been stuck in her, her ways here and, like, not really following, like, mm -hmm. etiquette and tradition and kind of going about stuff in her own ways and not listening to Lady Danbury. But I think she might end up taking her advice to heart. It seemed like at the end there she actually, like, was... Was listening. Yeah. And... Lady Danbury always executes with the good advice, dude. So good. I mean, she had, like... I get her mentality she was telling Lady Danbury, but it's, like, not realistic just like go live alone after this and live mm -hmm. out a life that lady Danbury lived like she, she yeah went through it all she's seasoned i mean i mean it's it's one thing if like that just naturally happens but to go out of your way to be like no i'm going to be alone for the rest of my life like no no i'm never gonna be with anybody i refuse like it's just not fair to yourself i don't think it's just you're not living life to its fullest in my opinion yeah i mean i definitely want to find a lover for myself i could never live alone i think that is not living i mean like you have to that's just treating yourself poorly so i think she will definitely i think she obviously she's gonna be with anthony it's just the signs are there it's supposed to it's supposed to happen edwin is just like getting in the way i thought the best part of this episode was when they were at the horse like the race off to the races uh it was so much fun seeing anthony and kate like get into it and yeah, Anthony dude. completely just came in as they were already with two people and he took over i mean he sat Part of that was set up though yeah he sat in between them like he was willing both the girls there and he even bought 
Edwina a horse after that, but she wasn't really a big horse fan. She liked it. It was a generous gift, but she was she likes like dogs, things that can sit on her lap, like the tinier animals. And she also saw zebras, so it was quite a crazy episode. Yeah, we also kind of heard that the queen picked Edwina like partly because she she's knows. looking for Lady Whistledown. Uh-huh. She knows that can't it, be Edwina. It, well, yeah, that that the Lady Whistledown's going to get close to the diamond regardless, and to avoid picking either the diamond or someone that the diamond already knows of, she's picking the new girl that no one has any information about because. Like we saw, Penn kind of was trying to get closer at a point, and it seems like it might be working because the the suspects there at the end. I mean, Penn is on it. Like I don't think they're gonna pick her off rip. I feel like they honestly might push her to the side and like do process of elimination. But the Queen's people are way better than Eloise. Yeah. Eloise is. I mean, she's. How has Eloise not figured this out yet, dude? How? I don't know. She doesn't have the outside perspective as we have. But how about Ma- uh, Madame Delacroix, though? She, yeah. she saw her at that market there. I think that's the first little blip of Pen- Penn's fuck-ups. She slipped up. Mm-hmm. And especially, like, why would she wear that bright of clothing to the that part of town? Just stands out like a sore thumb. Facts. And I don't know what Madame Delacroix is going to do. I mean, I don't feel like... I feel like that she's not a snitch. She's not going to be like, guess what I... Who, saw, who I saw? Who I saw? I mean, but Penn just ran away too that was uh, I feel like if somebody asked she definitely would mention it but i feel like she should have just talked and like bullshit no nah, I, f- I feel like she was definitely in a part of town that she's not supposed to be in so she just ran away super weird like super weird of her to be there i'm guessing it was the part that sells like i don't know what the word would be but like crafts and stuff like fabric and she was buying like letters for the the print the screen or the printer or whatever i forget what it's called but just a part a part of town that like workers probably go to like that's why i think madame delacroix was there getting like fabric and stuff for her dresses but we also had lord featherington the new lord featherington he's kind of like doing his own thing here at this place much different from the prior mm-hmm. one he's he's uh redecorating everything and he's even like buying gifts for lady cowper and hanging out with her and cressida i don't i forget if he bought it for the necklace for her or cressida but he's chilling with that family and I don't know. I feel like he might honestly just try to get with another woman right now. Like, I, I know yeah. Lady Featherington was saying she was, like, worried she might get kicked out of her own house at this rate. He's but... not interested in her, I don't think. No. She's going to have to make him. I think that's going to be a little side quest of this season. Um, I feel this... like she might try to get rid of him, Loki. I don't know. And his... I feel like she was under the impression that he had a lot of money, but I don't know if he does. I feel like... Uh... He was kind of on purpose not answering that question about the funds and everything. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's not that deep. But for some reason, I feel like Lady Featherington is going to stick around and he he might not. We got the early return of Colin as well. Colin is back in town. He, and he absolutely disrespected uh, <sighs> Penelope. Yeah, that was rude. I mean, like I said, he doesn't know because he doesn't think she likes him. So he like thinks they're just friends. And, like, I, I guess, but I it, like, it's still kind of rude to tell a woman like, oh, I don't even consider you a woman. Like, I don't even look at you as Yeah, a but woman. he just said that because he thinks they're best friends. Like, they're so close. He can just say, you're Penn. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like he meant it I feel as like a the, compliment. The, it's, it's one thing to be like, you're Penn. But he goes, you're not a woman. Like, all right, dude still a lady like, i feel like he did mean it as a compliment though but it's just so disrespectful yeah he just he doesn't realize what he actually yeah. said it from his perspective he's like oh this is my friend but from everyone else's it's like oh wow you don't even respect her at all cool but yeah he means well i i want the best for them but man it's just not good for pen i don't think colin really has any romantic no. feelings for her at least he hasn't shown any so far and next season's about him so he's gonna get a girl then not right now it's not bad, that's right? bad all right guys so that is it for this episode if you do like all of our bridgerton reactions please leave a like drop a comment subscribe check out all the links in our description as well first one's gonna be for our patreon we have the full uncut watch alongs over there as well as a bunch of early access for you so check that out second link is for our discord come talk to us about bridgerton we're in there all the time we have a super dope community so stop by chat with us the rest of the links are gonna be for all of our social medias give us a follow and at the very bottom you will see the address to our p.o box send us something to be open up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time with all that being said guys we will see you next time for bridgerton season two episode three peace out